Hi everyone, this is your favourite Premier and your favourite Queenslander I might add, Anastasia Palaszczuk. And I'm here with your favourite Chief Health Officer, Dr John Gerrard. Greetings. Just look at all those letters after my name. I know what I'm talking about. Thank you for that lovely introduction, John. First of all, I'd just like to thank all Queenslanders for doing the right thing and going out and getting vaccinated. That's the best way to end this pandemic as soon as possible. Now that the new year is upon us, 2022, it's time to give Queenslanders a little bit of a reward. That's right, it's time to mask up again. That's the only way to keep us safe from this terrible virus. Uh, <clears throat> let me just take that off. As we all know, the new year needs some new rules. So we've created a whole bunch of new rules to make it even easier for you to stay safe. As you already know, masks are already mandatory in supermarkets and airplanes and cinemas. But starting from today, you'll also have to start wearing them in workplaces, pubs and sports arenas, libraries and nail salons. It's really the only way to keep us safe now that we're all heavily vaccinated. It should be noted that when you're in a pub, club or cafe, a place that unvaccinated people are not allowed to visit, remember, it's not necessary to wear a mask when you're sitting down. As Dr John can testify, the virus loves spreading at high altitudes, as we can see with our previous rule for airplanes. Whether you're 30,000 feet up in the sky or standing up in a cafe, you must wear a mask. The virus loves heights. I can't stress that enough. Isn't that right, Dr. John? Yes, Premier. And what would happen if somebody were to stand up without a mask on in a pub or cafe? They might die. That's right, Queenslanders. You don't want to die, do you? So, in order to keep everybody safe from death, and in light of the virus spreading in high places, we've made a few more rules starting from tomorrow. When doing a handstand, it is not necessary to wear a mask if you're vaccinated, but you need to wear one if you're unvaccinated. It's all to do with relative height from the ground. If you're doing a headstand though, you must wear a mask if you're vaccinated, but not if you're unvaccinated. This is all making sense, isn't it, Dr. John? It certainly is, Premier. If you're jogging less than 12 kilometres per hour, you need to wear a mask no matter what your vaccination status is. It's all to do with relative wind speeds and so on. It's, it's all very scientific. But if you're vaccinated and running between 12 kilometres per hour and 16 kilometres per hour, you need not wear a mask. But unfortunately, you need to wear one if you're unvaccinated. If you're running faster than 16 kilometres per hour, the vaccinated must wear a mask, but the unvaccinated do not. So for example, if you are unvaccinated and running away from the police, as long as you are running faster than 16 kilometres per hour, you would not have to wear a mask. But if you're running slower than that, you must wear a mask. On the other hand, if a vaccinated person was running at high speed to return an old lady's purse, for example, they must wear a mask. What would happen, Dr. John, if a vaccinated person were to take off their mask at those speeds? They might catch the virus and die. Yes, that's right. We don't want people dying. So just make sure you follow these common sense rules so we can keep all Queenslanders safe. Any last words, Dr. John? Yes, follow my rules or die. Uh, thanks, Dr. John. Um, anyway, let's mask up and I hope that everybody has a safe and enjoyable new year. Um, Dr. John, time to put your mask on. Dr. John? Oh, yes, sorry. Sorry.